in, man. Mm -hmm. Boogity boogity. You should be running to cover as you're doing this reload. So heads up, if you're in a fire, you shouldn't be in a firefight standing out in the street like the OK Corral. That's stupid. That's how you lose firefights. That's movies. In reality, you should be seeking cover to begin with. But if you're in the open and you get a firefight because that's when it jumped on you and you shot yourself to Winchester or bingo or whatever you want to call it, an empty state, once you feel that thing's lock and that trigger gets some mush, you better haul ass to cover, and which means most of your emergency reloads are happening while the lower half is hauling ass, right? So you gotta be, be able to do it efficiently, understand. You wanna drop that mag and get that next thing in and then be able to shoot yourself to cover. That's real defensive shooting. So that's the headspace I want you guys in. It's shot, I reload and I get right back on target and I start dominating the fight again. You need to. The shot after your reload is the most important shot of your life, I submit to you. It doesn't get more important than that. That shot needs to finish the fight. Because if you were in a fight and you ran out of ammo, that next round you shot, shoot after that, is bringing you back into the fight and it should end the fight. So don't just whiff it. Don't just shoot it, all right? Because, oh, you know, I did this little dance move, I reload my mag, and then I just point my weapon and shoot it indiscriminately. No, that one, you're gonna dial it in and I want it to be the sexiest shot you ever made.